Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Jammer Informs. In this video, I am going to show how can I create a list view and how can I bind this list view to a view model. I have already created a product info page. Here, I will create a list view. Give a name of this list view. List view product. List view product. But item source equal new string. I will add data source a string array just okay let's run this application I have already added my page into this flyout paste menu okay that's cool you will find the list view item this list view and the code behind paste is tightly coupled in my last video i have discussed about mvvm and data bindings how can i separate my ui and code behind paste Okay. Let's create a view model. Okay, I'll create a view model product info view model. public go to constructor item list list equal new string just copy this code and just remove this code for binding view model we have to add them a space Product info view model. Okay, just remove this name and we have to bind item source. Item source equal binding item list. Okay, let's run. Okay, that's cool. In this way, we can bind a list view into a view model.
we can use an string array we can use an observable collection to populate this list view this an observable collection is in system dot collection dot object model just <coughs> new observable collection just mount it list dot Now let's run this application. Okay. Also, we can use an object. Let's create. Product info class Just add some emails. Let's run this application. Ooh. You will find my German app dot product info course course. We have to add the item template data template. The text fail. Binding product name. So on this application. Okay, we'll find this. We can use the image cell. You can bind image cell or text cell here and you can add a text product name also Detail price okay it's cool now I will add a view cell view cell Read 
Eleven. Binding product name. So price. Okay. Vertical option. Center. the stack layout okay mm -hmm. image source horizontal always okay I'll add a padding and with request Okay, just add this true like a frame. Separator color is just blue. Okay, now it's looking cool. Font size just as large. to the shadow sorry true just showing a shadow now it's looking cool okay we can add a refresh is cool refresh and all true just pull it a little okay it's refreshing you can change the refresh color red let's look red we can add we can add a context menu view cell dot context action menu item text read if we long press you will find a context menu favorite 
can also another menu delete just okay we can also add toolbar item Also, we can add a header or footer. Here we can add list view header. Product info, font size large. Just gray. It is not fine. Just save. Okay, we will find this header here. Just used orientation, orientation horizontal, and horizontal option center. You can also use a footer okay use this as a button okay you will find this load more button here you can also add button I will just add a edit button, edit and trash button. Just edit a trash and edit button. Okay. Vertical option, central, horizontal option, okay, we can add edit and delete from this button click, okay, that's all about my list view in my next video. I'll show how can I add, update or delete item from this list view. Thanks for watching my video.